Okay, so this video is a briefing on how to set up the business lister settings. Fairly straightforward, you would access the menu from Tools, Business Lister Settings. This comprehensive window will open up. It's got a lot of detail in here. Make sure you fill out every field. I know it can be hard. Uh, you would save the, start with the business name. The files are going to be saved by the business name. And I'll show you that. Okay, so to navigate to the files, if you want to manually edit them, they're in your program files under the business lister, business lister, and here's all your files. So what happens is there's a project folder. Inside the project folder, it's got all the names for the projects you're working on. So for example, here I have one test that I want to remove. So I'll simply just remove that and save it. Now let's say I wanted to, uh, you know, get rid of Plus Commander. I could just delete this folder and delete the file name from within the uh, project names file. Pretty straightforward there. Your information is going to be saved in two formats. There's going to be a CSV for the business data and a CSV for the user data. Now, if you wanted to create additional projects really fast, you could just create folders and add them in here as well to do it manually but we recommend doing it on the front end. So when you enter in a business name here, and then you save, this information, well, first of all, it's going to tell, give you a detail of what's going on here in the status window. And then, So here I am back into the program files, back into business lister, and into project. Now we have a test folder. So the test folder is not going to have much data in it. All right, so if I want to remove that, remove that, save it. You okay, know, you can. Uh, also load this information from the front end just go to tools and load project and then your existing projects will be in here simply select the one that you're dealing with and click load now it takes a few minutes to actually pull out all of this data it uh, does a lot of um, various processes in the background separating phone numbers, separating user IDs, and so that they can be used in the various different uh, different websites. Okay, so you put your name. The business username is a username that's going to be used for uh, creating accounts. So this must be filled. First name, last name, make sure all this information is accurate. Business email and pass. Again, make sure this is accurate. This will be used for creating accounts. Business phone number will be used for verifying accounts. You can put in your avatar URL, uh, your Google email and pass. Again, very important for creating accounts. Um, right now, Facebook username and pass is not so important. However, going forward into the future, there will be many more sites that do require Facebook username and password in order to log in and create an account. So you may need your your business uh, owner's Facebook username if they want to use their own. Um, do not use any commas in the business address. Normal standard format for an address, just don't put the commas in. You can use commas in the descriptions. As far as categories, if you wish to add additional categories, those just send us an email and we'll add them in. And you can select your own subcategory in here. Just Try to make it as accurate as possible. Don't put something that's not going to be listed on any sites. It's not going to find anything. And then you've got your regular listings, just like you would see on a Google Plus listing. So you've got your hours of business. If you service the customer's location, not specify hours. And your various types of payment method. So just check these, and then it will fill those into the various settings in the forms. So that's your business list of settings. Fairly straightforward. If you need any additional help with it, 
feel free to, to connect with us at gadgetguru at mac.com. Thank you.